What is up, you beautiful people? Um, this is a gameplay against uh, half of Sideways Effect and uh, Commotion and J-Rod. Uh, they were, Sideways Effect was a really good MW3 team. And uh, this gameplay really isn't for um, the gameplay itself because it, it was a good gameplay on my part. But I mean, it wasn't just uh, for the content. This gameplay was really for this commentary that I have for you right now because it is going to be a great one. Um, I want to talk about a few things. I want to talk about my SMR shot, the SMR, and my giveaway that I am doing. First, let's start with the SMR, obviously, because it's going to be in the game. Um, the SMR is a really great gun. Now, it's not a great gun because I'm good with it, which you will see throughout this gameplay, is I am good with it, and I was really good with the FAL. The SMR is a two-shot kill. Uh, I'm not sure if it's two-shot kill from every distance, because it, it is does two-shot from long distance, long distances. But, um, it is a two-shot kill. And my trigger finger is decently fast, so I am able to use it uh, pretty efficiently, or as fast as it can go, and I can shoot decently fast with it. Um, to the point where I can get the kill most, like, much faster than most people could. Um, the SMR, though, is, has, like, a lot of recoil. So you will see, though, I will lose or win some gunfights because of it. The recoil is, like, immense, and it is really hard to control at times. And, uh, it gets kind of annoying, but, uh, I can live with it on some maps. So, like, on Slums, it's a pretty good map because, uh, I'm getting a lot of close-range gunfights more... Oh, no, that was bad. I get a lot of close-range gunfights and where the, its its strength will, like, overcome or overcome uh, most most players, and I will get, get the win for that gunfight. So, I do like it for that purpose. Um, what I'm using on it is I'm using Quick Draw, Reflex, and Stock... And I do have that little circle, blue dot circle thing as a reticle because I think it's bigger. I mean, I probably will end up dropping down to the normal red dot because the normal red dot is usually best. So um, for now, you though, for now though, you will see me use if you watch my stream or in these new upcoming vids, you will see me using the blue dot on it. Uh, I like running it on slums in particular. I don't really like running it on raid. Um, on raid, I do run an AR or an M8 on raid, and uh, I think the M8 is the best for for raid. I think it's the best gun that you could possibly use. Um, for raid and uh, on standoff I do run a sub we run three subs on standoff why do we run three subs on standoff I think standoff is a very um, very like sub controlled map now it does have its moments where you do need the AR power because of uh, mid hard point and um, hard points like that um, or from the like, just for the the distance and the length of the map it's it's pretty good for for ARs, but I feel like subs in general, they're, it's easier to control the hard point on standoff, and uh, for subs, it's a really good map for subs. So I think that um, it's pretty helpful, and you know, it's been really useful for us to run three subs on standoff, and it's been really working well. And um, so that's that's really good that we do that, or for now, and we'll, we'll, we'll end up changing it if it does, showing that it's not as strong, but um, for now, it's, it's helping us out, and I keep saying for now, but whatever, um, it's, it's helping us out for now. And um, we're gonna keep using it, and hopefully that we will go far with running, running that that strat or that uh, whatever you want to call it. Fuck. Um, so let me get into the giveaway. At a 1,200 followers, I am giving away a scuff yin yang. Now it was a scuff yin yang, but I did get it customized, and so now it's a gold scuff. It's gold with turquoise blue buttons. I will post a picture of it on my Twitter, so you all will get to see. It's glory, glorifulness, whatever. Um, I don't know why this kid was back there. Maybe I killed him and he saw me like with the kill cam go back there. But it, it was I was getting really upset when I did see that. Um, it, it like shocked me that I saw someone back there and I was just like, I had like a knot in my stomach. Like why was he there? But um, it's whatever. And uh, he got juked, I guess, or juked himself uh, trying to rush me. Um, so yeah, 1,200 followers, doing a giveaway. Retweet it, shout it out. One of you guys will be the winners. I will pick a random winner from a random retweeter when I do get 1,200 followers. So keep up on my Twitter so you can see the tweet. And uh, there's an app on Twitter where you can pull a random retweeter or I think follower. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get if it to get retweeter because I don't think I want to do a random retweet or follower because I think I have like 15% inactive followers. Um, so hopefully I, it's not like that. It's not just a follower. It is a retweeter. I'm pretty sure it's a retweeter. So you, you will have a chance if you do retweet the tweet when I do tweet it out and when I get the 1,200 followers to win 
to win that scuff as well. I am doing at 500 subscribers. So right now I think I'm at 80 or 90. I will be doing at 500 subscribers a Razer Sabertooth giveaway. The Razer is what I use right now, and I love this controller to death. It is one of the best controllers on the market that you can buy. The one reason is that it is like a scuff on steroids and any other kind of illegal supplement that you could get, and I wasted so much ammo with this war machine on that kid. Um, I didn't need to, but I did because I'm a jackass and uh, I'm selfish. But um, it is amazing controller. Now, what the controller has on it is it has the normal paddles like your scuff, but on the paddles, they're kind of like U-shaped paddles, so like your middle finger can go like comfortably on it. It has double double button action on the paddles. The paddles have two buttons on the top and the bottom. As well to this, in between the bumper and the triggers, there is another mini bumper button bumper. It is tiny, and it is like a bumper, and it is fucking beautiful and amazing for the reason that you can click them just as fast as you click a bumper. So imagine having a trigger but turn it into a bumper. It's, it's amazing. It's absolutely wonderful. Now, this controller is very cheap if you want to buy it by yourself. But know that I am doing a giveaway. It is, uh, I think it's around 80 bucks, 85 bucks if you buy it from Razer. And um, the reason why I have two is that I bought one, but uh, Razer messed up and they sent me two by accident for the price of one, which thank you very much, Razer, because I am appreciative of that. And thank you for supporting my COD career. But um, no. Uh, I th it's really sick and it's fucking amazing. I will do um, a complete. I'm pr I probably will. I mean, I don't know. I will do a complete review and unboxing of the Razor Saber Tooth because I will unbox the old one and I'll show you guys everything about it. And so it is amazing, like a scuff, but like more advanced. So a scuff will eventually look like a razor, maybe a little bit more fine tuned, but it should eventually look like a razor. Um, because it's just amazing. Not only does it have all these extra buttons and features and shit, I did jump like five times in that gunfight, it, you, it's programmable on the fly. Like, you can program it whenever you want, and you can change everything on it whenever you want. So if you want from the start to, you know, have like the front, the bottom left, the bottom left paddle A, and the bottom right paddle B, and the top left paddle X, and top right paddle Y, and the two buttons, uh, left trigger and right trigger, and then the next day you decide, oh, I want to play another game that requires different shit. You can change it to the D-pad and the start button and the back button. You can change it whenever you want, however you want. There's a little, like, computer screen on the bottom of it that just, like, controls and programs. And there's little buttons on the bottom of it that you can just change it. And I'll post a picture of it on Twitter so you guys can see what it looks like. The game the game is on the end, but I will keep talking. Um... So that's great. Another thing is the analog sticks, you can change the sensitivity of the analog sticks. So it goes up to 10 and negative 10. So my right analog stick, I have it on positive 1 sensitivity. So, you know, normal analog sticks are on 0 and they have no slow turn. Like most scuffs, scuffs have no slow turn unless they did something wrong, but they shouldn't have. This has no slow turn and you can, te you can test for that on the controller with the little computer thing on the bottom. It has a test mode where you can test to see if the analog sticks have no slow turn. And if they do have no slow turn, that's a, a, programming, pro a programming problem and you can send it back into Razer. But they don't. Mine doesn't. And um, the, the controllers, the sticks have, you can custom sens sensi sensitize them. I guess sensitize is, I'm not sure if that's a word, but it sounds right. So I, you, I have my left analog stick as plus five sensitivity. What did I just do there? I have my left analog stick as plus five sensitivity, so I can like, it, it, it picks up when I move really well. So it picks up if I click down and I drop shot faster, I guess, and I can jump left and move right and strafe faster or whatever. And I have my right analog stick to plus one sensitivity, because I like to be a little, I like to like, you know, catch it more. I like to be a little bit more smooth. And so I do play on five sensitivity. Um, you can see right there, I play on five. And uh, I have it... I have it where um, it's a little bit faster than 5, so it's kind of like 5.2 or 5.3 or whatever, and it's very smooth. Um, another thing is it's very, very light. I don't know why it's weirdly light, like it's lighter than most normal controllers, and so it does have the option for um, for uh, the rumble packs to be used, but it's a weird light. It's like extremely light. It's lighter than like my scuff is without the rumble packs in it. So those are just all the great, like the great pros in it. Uh, I don't really have any cons for it. It's uh, If you do have sweaty hands, I think Parasite talked about this in his 
um, review of it. If you do have sweaty hands, it's not that it doesn't have a grip on it. It has a weird grip on it. Like it's kind of it's not glossy like most controllers are, or like it has like this like straight paint on it where like you know this paint will come off. This is kind of a weird grip. It's not a grip, but it's just so smooth and it kind of like carbon fiber like, but like not not like silky like or it's not silky like that it's just weird and it's amazing and to control everything about the controller is just beautiful so at 500 subscribers you'll be giving away this and like 110 more followers on twitter i will be giving away my scuff so make sure you do that retweet this video shout this video out shout my twitter out everything will be in the description thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy this commentary like and subscribe peace